Today, we are doing what we did not do the last time, which is having the motors be tilted somewhat evenly around the drones. We're going to see if that makes a difference in the flight of the drone, and maybe if it unlocks some sort of high performance capabilities of the drone. And also, I have strings on here. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. All right, so take a good look at these uh, motors here. So last time we did a, a, a wonky thing because I, I messed up on the geometry of the motors and stuff like that. So last time we had the motors like kind of, some were tilted outward, some were tilted inward. It still flew, but it didn't fly well for obvious reasons. This time what I've done is tilted all of the motors outward away from the body of the drone. And uh, it should be fairly evenly, but I kind of realized that this is not a true X shape for the frame. It's actually a dead cat, but that's fine because we're weird and we're going to see what happens. The idea here is uh, what I suspect might happen. What do I suspect is going to happen here? I suspect that those strings are going to get tangled up in the motor. <laughs> <laughs> the strings are to so that we can kind of visualize what is going on with the airflow below the drone. Now, I may not be doing this the right way, uh, but we're going to kind of see what happens. And hopefully this wind that we have, because it's a windy day, won't cause problems with this. First, let's just give it a try here. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the transmitter. Transmitter on. Battery attached. Plug. Plugged in. Beeping. Stop it. Stop it. Why are you doing this to me? Guess that was the beeper switch. Camera turning on. Sometimes it's like, ah, eh, maybe I'll turn on and maybe I won't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think we're chopping a couple strings. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, there goes another one. It's kind of pushing all of the strings inward, which is about what I expected. All right, so I think we've learned something. Putting strings on the bottom of your quadcopter is not advised, so please don't do that. And also, this looks really cool. Taking off. And going into acro mode. Okay, so I'm really trying to concentrate on how it feels. Or basically, does it feel like it, like any other kind of drone? Well, um, we do uh, we do have some wind that we're dealing with, but otherwise, it feels pretty good. So the, the punch out is definitely. Um, it feels pretty smooth, honestly, but it's it's softer. It's very much softer. Let's kind of see about if, so if I give it a yaw command, not too bad. When it yaws, it, it kind of bounces around a bit. We do have that wind we're fighting, okay? Um, the pitch forward and backward, pretty much the same. Um, let's try the, the roll real quick. Oh, snap roll's good. Wow. Okay. All right, I gotta come back and change batteries. So that was an interesting flight. The uh, watch out for the fire pit there. I guess basically, long story short, pretty normal. And I don't know that this is necessarily the best like tuned quad in the first place. So in terms of when we do like those snap rolls or, or snap, snappy out. movements, like when I would yaw it around, it would kind of, you know, yaw and then go, ooh, which is pretty normal because yaw is kind of weird. It definitely felt like when I gave it full throttle and really punched out, it was much smoother. And that makes more sense. I mean, that makes a lot of sense because we have these motors and they're they're not going straight up and down so the thrust is not all just going in one direction exactly you know this motor is, is pushing the air this way this motor is pushing the air this way so they're kind of like a, almost like a magnifying glass or something like pushing the air not straight down but a little bit at the side which is gonna decrease the overall thrust in one single direction is that 
more efficient? Is it more better, more better? Is it gooder for some things versus others? I don't know. If you know, leave a comment about that. Or even if you don't, maybe just guess, because hey, it's fun to, it's fun to guess things, I, I, I guess. How am I gonna? Oh, that's right, it's song time. And now it's time to fly the drone. Today, we'll be flying this drone right here. It has six inch, really cool looking propellers. The motors are angled outward in a very gentle, but also steep fashion to see what will happen. Thanks for joining me, and let's go do the thing that we're doing. And now, he will set the drone down and take his position. Army, taking off with a punch out. wash surprisingly well for some reason which I would I would think it would be worse it's definitely mushier I, I guess that's that's the biggest thing that is noticeable when you angle the motors is it's just mushy <laughs> totally intentional. I think it was a loose prop. I did this just to demonstrate to you folks that uh, you got to be careful about a uh, loose propeller because uh, you see this right here. You see how it's see how it's like spinning free of the motor. So watch out for that. You hear that noise it makes? Sounds like a squeaky door. Watch out for the squeaky doors. And hey, another safety tip: don't do that when your battery's plugged in. Unplug your battery first before you start messing around with your drone after a crash. Once, uh, sure you just, yep, thank you. Um, so stay safe out there. One safety tip at a time from here at RC with Adam Industries. Keep those fingers on your hands. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, we did a weird thing again with this quadcopter, but you tell me, is this a benefit to have the motors tilted outward, to have the propellers directing thrust under the drone, kind of sideways? Let me know in the comments if you're an aerospace engineer or something like that, because I'd be curious to know. My summation of this is that it may be better for some things, and it may improve stability in certain ways. However, it seems like you're losing a lot of thrust by having the, uh, everything kind of pointed inward and outward. And I don't know, I just don't know. It, it, uh, it seems, I want it to be a cool, amazing idea, but maybe it's just a weird thing. In any case, this was fun. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again very soon.